Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to discuss about various COVID vaccines available in India and globally and their recommendation in pregnancy and lactation. This is a requested video by the way. So now let's start. COVID-19 vaccinations are available now, everybody knows. There are various amount and various types of vaccine available and the types of vaccine will be going to increase in future too. It is very important to understand the different types of vaccines and uh, uh, how they act and uh, that's why you can have an idea whether to give this vaccine to your patients or not. Now, the first kind of vaccine is a Covaxin, Covaxin or Sinovac that is whole virus vaccine, killed virus vaccine. Okay, so these vaccine are killed virus vaccine. The virus that is COVID-19 virus is no longer can produce a disease. So the virus is killed, which is very important now. Covaxin and Sinovac. Covaxin is made by Bharat Biotech, by Sinovac made by Sinopharma of China. So these vaccines are whole virus vaccine, but killed. Another vaccines, the type of vaccine is whole virus vaccine but live attenuated that means the virus is not killed but it it made inactivated fortunately these kind of vaccines are not available in any market in any country so they are not marketed so this is the only vaccine that is live attenuated vaccine which is actually not recommended in pregnancy whether of any disease like any disease you have live vaccine no, you cannot give that into your pregnancy. So, these vaccines are not available at all in any country or any market. Because it has a potential risk of virus activation after inoculation. The third one is protein subunit vaccine. And the example is Novavax. Remember, the virus is a bundle of protein and nucleic acid. Some protein is important to develop immunity among these various amount of proteins some particular protein is important to develop immunity so that protein is isolated and that is inoculated into body as a vaccine now this can be a very safe vaccine because we are not inoculating any virus in the body okay now the fourth type which is very important and most common used vaccine that is viral vector vaccine here the Covishield that is marketed by AstraZeneca and Oxford, Sputnik in Russia, Johnson & Johnson and even uh, CanSino that is available in China. So these are viral vector vaccine and how these they work? The genetic material of COVID-19 virus is identified. Genetic material of COVID-19 virus is identified and that is added into another harmless virus that is adenovirus. One adenovirus selected and this genetic material of COVID-19 virus is added into this adenovirus and this adenovirus is now transferred into the body as a vaccine. So this adenovirus basically act as a vehicle for COVID-19 genetic material to your body. Okay, so this Covishield, Sputnik, Johnson Johnson and in China that vaccine is available, uh, viral vector vaccine. Now the very another important vaccine is the nucleic acid vaccine that is mRNA vaccine. mRNA is what? It is a blueprint of virus, virus genetic material. So what we are transferring into the body? mRNAs. This mRNA after inoculating in our cells, it will produce protein of COVID-19 virus and this will induce immunity. So it is a completely new approach to develop a vaccine and the Pfizer vaccine, Biotech, Moderna are example of this nucleic acid vaccines. Now, now the important question comes here. Should you get vaccinated while being pregnant for COVID-19? Two factors must be discussed. The risk with the vaccine and the benefit with the vaccine. We will talk about benefit first. The risk of infection after vaccination is only 0.02%. That means once you get vaccinated, you have a 
फिफ्टी परसेंट प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम रिस्क ऑफ इन्फेक्शन एंड इट ऑल्सो प्रोटेक्ट बेबी बिकॉज द एंटीबॉडीज ऑल्सो पास टू द बेबी इट प्रोवाइड्स यू स्ट्रोंग प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम वेरी सिवियर कोविड नाइन्टी इन्फेक्शन और न्यूमोनिया ड्यू टू कोविड नाइन्टी इन्फेक्शन इट प्रोवाइड्स यू स्ट्रोंग प्रोटेक्शन सो if you even can get positive or if you can even can get covid 19 but you will not get severe disease and right now with the high spread of infection it's now likely that you will end up getting exposed to the virus despite all protective measures so the international professional bodies who actually make guidelines about everything in pregnancy like figo rcog scog all they don't stop pregnant women to get vaccinated remember the question remember the word game here they don't stop you to get vaccinated okay they don't recommend you they they don't they don't uh, uh, make you uh, they don't make you uh, they don't make you necessitated to get vaccinated okay that means they are not against the vaccination in pregnancy but simultaneously they don't make it necessary okay it is to empower the women to take their own decision on their own now about indian government statement that is by ministry of health and family welfare uh, on 15th may of 2020 they at this time they do not recommend the pregnant women to get vaccinated it's because of mostly uh, non available of safety data okay but the very important statement that came recently is by the foxi foxi is a federation of obstetrics and gynecology societies of india and this foxi is actually made of intelligent doctors and intelligent obstetrician and gynecologists and these people recommends vaccination remember foxi recommends vaccination so vaccination should be done considering the high benefit over minor theoretical risk now what are the risk of vaccines what can be the risks first of all remember the risk are very very low there is a theoretical uh, concept of risk but actual actually the risk is very low the pain sweating nausea are the most common side effect of vaccination arthralgia myalgia lymphadenopathy local pain swelling redness rash diarrhea this is also not common okay but they can happen after vaccination the rare side effect the important one side effects are anaphylactic reactions thromboembolism which is right now a point of topic uh discussion of point okay now facial palsy hospital admission and local infection like cellulitis these all can happen but these side effects are very 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 rare okay so coming to the uh, point what is my personal opinion as a obstetrician and gynecologist i think considering the pandemic in india and other uh, south asian countries you should vaccinate yourself despite being pregnant or lactating that means i recommend vaccination but you must discuss with your doctor first because your doctor knows your body your doctor knows the actual status of your disease or uh, your physiological conditions more than me so i advise you to get vaccinated but again you should discuss with your doctor first now there are some questions uh, some conditions like what is the time of vaccination there is no such preferable time period you can get vaccinated at any time women undergoing infertility treatment yes you can go to vaccinated and as soon as possible should do pregnancy test done before vaccination no if you are getting vaccinated you don't need to know that you are pregnant or not 
वैक्सीनेशन फॉर प्रेग्नेंट पेशेंट वो वर इन्फेक्टेड इन पास्ट डिटर वैक्सीनेशन थ्री मंथ्स फ्रॉम द इन्फेक्शन फॉर थ्री मंथ्स यू शुड नॉट गेट वैक्सीनेटेड एटलीस्ट कोमोर्बिडिटी पेशेंट द पेशेंट विथ कोमोर्बिडिटीज इट इज नॉट एन कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन फॉर वैक्सीनेशन सो यस यू कैन गो इट फॉर लेक्टेटिंग वुमेन नॉट अ कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन यू कैन गो फॉर इट नाउ विच टाइप ऑफ वैक्सीन यू शुड यूज वॉट एवर वैक्सीन अवेलेबल टू यू एट दिस टाइम यू शुड गेट वैक्सीनेटेड एंड इन इंडिया राइट नाउ देर इज नो चॉइस अवेलेबल टू नाउ वॉट आर द कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन फॉर वैक्सीन दैट मीन्स दैट इफ यू हैव दिस पर्टिकुलर डिसीज यू शुड डंट गो फॉर वैक्सीनेशन यू मस्ट नॉट गो फॉर वैक्सीनेशन इट इज अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ एनाफाइलेक्सिस टू प्रीवियस डोज ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टी वैक्सीनेशन देन यू शुड नॉट गो फॉर द सेकेंड डोज history of anaphylaxis to other injectables too if you are a diagnosed covid-19 positive patient active symptoms of covid-19 vaccine uh, symptoms covid-19 treatment done with plasma therapy and if you are anyways hospitalized for any other serious condition you should not get vaccinated so this was all about covid-19 vaccination and uh, pregnancy and lactation thank you friends